Hey gang, today we are taking a look at this glorious beast over here, the Bogner JB45. It is a three channel or two and a half channel, but uh, more on that later. We'll go, we'll say three channels for now. KT66 based amp. So say maybe more in the lineage of an old blues breaker kind of style rather than a plexi sort of style. It oozes vintage tones, but it's got all of the modern Bogner features that you've come and expected from Reinhold Bogner. I'll give you a brief overview now and I'll talk more as I go through the tones. The JB45 has one set of EQ. It is presence, bass, middle, treble. The green channel has a master volume as well as a loudness control gain and a schizo switch. Uh, schizo kind of changes its personality like a schizophrenic thing. You know, that's that would, I'm sure, is the reference. So as you go to the right on the knob, it gets full and more just like out of control. And then as you go to the left, it sort of cleans up and gets tighter. All three channels have the schizo control. This channel has a three way character switch. Uh, it goes from bright to Bino, which who doesn't love a good Bino tone, to huge. Uh, which is a more extended tone, more highs, more lows. It's just big. Uh, I like to call that channel Hue. Moving over to the purple channel. Now we're on the gainier side of the JB45, and this is not a gainy Ubershaw thing, but, uh, you know, we'll say like a gainy Angus or a Johnson or Joe Bonamassa kind of vibe. So the purple channel has a master volume, a gain knob, and a schizo knob as well as its own three position character switch. And that goes from brown at its center is classic and over to the right is breaker. And the red channel, and you may see that we ran out of knobs. So the red channel and the purple channel share gain, volume and schizo. That's why I'm saying two and a half, uh, but they're dialed in nicely. And because they have independent that character switch, uh, again, the red also has its own brown classic and breaker switch. So you can set sort of two distinctly different channels there. Uh, and I'll show you that in a moment. The rear of the amp is no standard vintage affair. It is completely modern. You have all of your ohm selection outputs for your speakers. There is a built-in variac, although it is subtle, but it's in there, there's two Variac modes. There's also a character switch for the power amp. Now this is overall for the amp, so it's not gonna be per channel. That excursion switch goes from big, modern, and smooth, to expand and loose, to focused and vintage. Those are distinct sounds. Uh, the expand loose is really open and significantly louder if you're trying to play at home. You may want to use one of the outside modes of the switches, which the volume comes significantly down. And you also have an effects loop, which is a welcome addition to a vintage styled amp. Uh, and the bonus part of this effects loop, and I love this so much, it comes into play when you're using the foot switch. We got the foot switch, right? So you have a, a button for each channel, and then you have an effects loop on and off. The effects loop, if you don't put anything in the effects loop, you could just use that as a volume boost. Ah, oh, I love that so much. Uh, it really makes the live experience so great. I took this and played with some buddies and it's, you just, you don't have to touch the knobs. You know, you got all these gain stages and then you have a volume lift if you need it. It's, it's mwah, beautiful. Well, like several other of the Bogner flagship amps, there are so many tones in the thing that it is hard to just capture them all in one video. You could spend days dialing in infinite variations and uh, colors. So I'll do my best here. Let's start. I just want to show you the sounds I was using in the opening song because I got the JB45 dialed into a place where I feel like, oh, this is super versatile for me. And uh, it was maybe a little counterintuitive to even what it was intended. All right, green is set up as my clean channel, but it definitely has some crunch to it. And 
I love that because you could easily roll back. Lot of colors there just with the volume knob and the pickup selector switch. That was the cleanest sound I used. For the next one up, um, I didn't go to the purple. I went to the red, which red would normally uh, lead me to believe that's going to be the, the game master. And I thought it lended to the sort of like um, classic bluesy tone. Lots of versatility. You could just take any one of the channels and it could have been a, a great amp on its own. But this channel also really showcases the 212 cab, which is a matching 212 open back vertical cab. Uh, Bogner is well known for their cabs. You know, the 412s and 212s are spectacular. The 112s maybe were game changers, I would even say. Their 112 closebacks are still just bonkers good. Um, this is the 212 and it is uh, awesome. It has a green back at the top and it has a G12H30, vintage 30 on the bottom. It's an eight ohm cap. That open back thing, you could just hear how much bottom end is there. Check this out. such a big sounding rig there's so much supporting the notes it's yeah really fun to play through moving on to the real like lead tones that i was using that i went back to the purple channel it's got a ton of gain i set the red channel to breaker which is a vintagey like blues breaker vibe <laughs> Then I set the purple channel to brown, which... That just sets it into the I'm almost gonna explode vibe. Uh, it's kind of like the Eric Johnson with a fuzz face in front of it just exploding out, or the Joe Bonamassa like amps cranked sort of thing. There it is, like just those channels set up that way. And I was like, yeah, I'm good to go. Super cool. And like I mentioned, it takes pedals really well. So if you wanted to put a little boost to cut off some of the monster sort of vintage bottom end, you could do that and it takes it uh, perfectly well. You're good to go. So let's dive a little deeper into some knob turning and I'll show you a little more about the JB45. Let's bring the master volumes down to a little more humane level so you could get a feel for what it might sound like if you were sitting directly in front of it. Purple channel set to breaker. <laughs> So not a ton of gain there. But if you were trying to get that out of a vintage amp, you would be at excruciating levels. From breaker to classic. Huge gain bump. Let me 
exaggerate the schizo. I'm going all the way to the right. <laughs> Now that's probably a setting I would never have it at. Uh, I was founding, founding, finding, I was finding that somewhere between 10 and 2 is generally the best and complementary with the other channels. Uh, although I did like it all the way to the right. That sounded pretty rad. <laughs> Again, that big bottom end from the 212 cab mixed with the extended low end of sort of the vintage circuit. And then you get the gain at a moderate level. Yeah. Brown on the purple is uh, like a this. <laughs> Schizo over to the left, and maybe tighten and clean that up. It's challenging even further. Again, 212 open backs is not normally the recipe for chugging on a low string, so give it some benefit. <laughs> More gain. Now what's nice is you're in purple, and now if you wanted to do something like that, and then beef it up one level more, you could go over to the red, you activate red mode there, set that to brown. And that's a little tighter and a little less furry. <laughs> Let's put the schizo back to the center. There are tone controls over there. I just really don't find the use for them. To be honest, it could have been like a one knob thing. Once I'm set up there, I'm just kind of good, but I guess I'll turn the knobs for you. What do I set to? I could go less bass, maybe. Let's go a little, let's just go brash here. <laughs>
the, those tone controls are more like just opening the window. It's not that complicated. You just open the window, let the light in, and then you do your business. <laughs> So Red Channel has the classic and the breaker as well. Here's the classic. But still nice and smooth. King back over to Breaker. Let's check out the excursion switch. Hear it again. This is in the loose expand. Let's go over to the modern. <laughs> right? It's going to require some changing of the controls. Let's go to the other side, the vintage. Again, you gotta change the controls, but the volume is way down and uh, it's a lot less like roar in your face. Back to the center position and I'll show you the very act. Very act is on. is off. Now I'm in the green channel setup in Bino mode. Here's bright. That got pretty bright. Let me show you that on the different excursion. Back to the Beano mode, let's crank the loudness. And then let's move the schizo, let's get that going. And the Tube Screamer test. is the Bogner JB45 two and a half to three channel KT66 powered head, built-in Variac, excursion modes, voicing switches, uh, or just turn it up and rock out and it's awesome. Matching 212 open back cab with green back and vintage 30. Uh, a perfect compliment 
it is big sounding, like a deep, deep resonance in your guttural region here. Foot switch, effects loop. Uh, I don't know what else to say. It's like vintage amp Bognerified. Anyway, go play some guitar. Enjoy. Check this out.